The Virginia governor vetoed a bill that would keep the state from calling marijuana use alone, child abuse, and neglect. Now, advocates have been trying to pass this legislation for years, and he told them that it actually had potential consequences that may expose children to harm and may jeopardize the well-being of vulnerable children. So the bill also said that drug testing for child custody and visitation would exclude legal substances like marijuana. But now that's not the case. He went on to say that it's a significant threat to child safety, allowing guardians to get away with things that they shouldn't. Now, this bill passed through the Senate almost with unanimous support in a state where marijuana became completely legal in 2021. So even though it's decriminalized, the courts are still denying custody and visitation based on marijuana use. Now, okay, to me, this seems like a pretty crazy thing to deny, right? I mean, these people are lawful users of cannabis in a legal state. To deny them parental rights because of it makes it seem like the governor is just confused by the laws in his own state. Now, I'm sure he's a smart guy, so that's probably not the case, right? I think it's more likely that this is about retaliation against the Democrats who support cannabis. So the governor's star project, right, has been building a sports arena that he said would provide 30,000 jobs and $12 billion in economic impact. He was so, so excited about bringing the Washington Wizards, the pro basketball team, and the Washington Capitals from hockey to the state. And he's been negotiating the deal for a long time. But when the budget came out of the democratically controlled Senate, uh-oh, there's no money for his sports complex. And he was super pissed about it, saying they were making a colossal mistake. And the very next day, he vetoed the bill protecting parental rights for marijuana use. So maybe he believes what he's saying, and maybe he's letting the democratically led House and Senate know, game on. And marijuana advocates are worried, right? I mean, cannabis might have been legalized in 2021, but because of political gridlock, they never established a recreational market. So you can possess cannabis, but you can't buy it or sell it. So cannabis is kind of in a limbo, you know? Democrats who led the push to legalize finally got enough support after all these years to put a cannabis sales bill on the governor's desk that would get the whole thing going. And now, especially after Youngkin vetoed the parental rights bill and is saying he's not interested in cannabis reform, they're afraid that all that hard work is going to go up in smoke and Virginia cannabis will be left in no man's land. So, unless the Democrats decide to give the governor a sports arena, they might not see legal cannabis sales for a while.